ask me a question, anything at all. I'm an open book. How did you discover the cement suitcase? Oh. <laughs> Funny that you should ask. I was just trampsing through wine country here in the beautiful Yakima Valley. So nice people are here, genuine, much like the tranquil seas of Say Watanayu. Uh, anyway, I digress. I saw a lovable bunch of hooligans, a misfits crew, if you will, shooting a little film called Cement Suitcase. I had to walk in, and from then, I fell in love. Funny thing about filming a movie, you never really notice what kind of shoes a man's wearing. Uh, Seems like you've become really close with, uh, with the main actor, Dwayne uh, Franklin. I was, uh, I spent a lot of time in his pocket, or... Funny thing about a being in a man's pocket, you really can't get any closer. I mean, good lord, his pants are tight. One day he even ripped them. I was there. I saw the whole thing. I saw a single tear fall from his left eye and to his left cheek and down his chin, much like the ravenous waterfalls of Lake Vakaya. But he did not miss a beat. He kept on acting, acting his ass off, literally, because he had a pole in the back of his shorts. Uh, reminded me of my summers in Say Watanayu, a little island on the coast of Mexico. I have a question. Yes, Mr. Michael Kemper. I call him the glass maker. Or uh, really, the glass breaker. <laughs> your question, sir. I'm just curious if you'd like to comment on being passed up for a role in Castaway. I thought that we had an agreement. But since I'm a man of my word, and I'm a man filled with rubber and gusto, I'll answer that. Wilson's a good friend of mine. Nay, a day shall pass where I'll speak ill of that Angel. lovable volleyball. But we each have our day. I've had my time and he had his. All I know is that the future is bright and there's an asteroid coming to Earth. So you better get your affairs in order. Say what a name.